subscribe. Hey folks, I want to share with you a video that I did uh, uh, oh, a couple weeks ago. I was originally out trying to get some of these big cranes that were uh, supposed to come in at various random times. But the cranes didn't come in, but the Coast Guard cutter did. So let's talk about the Coast Guard cutter. Uh, this Coast Guard cutter here is number 751. And uh, its name is Russell R. I'll spell it for you. It's Whiskey Alpha Echo Sierra Charlie Hotel Echo. I don't know how to say it. But there's the last name of it. And, and some really cool things I never thought to ask myself before is what does a Coast Guard cutter even mean? It's a big boat, right? But a cutter refers to something, uh, a vessel that's 65 foot or longer with living accommodations for a crew. So now you know what uh, is meant when you hear the word Coast Guard cutter. Because um, I guess there's different kinds of vessels, but a cutter has to be 65 foot or longer with crew to live aboard. And there is definitely crew living aboard on that vessel. I don't want to call it a boat and insult anybody. <laughs> but uh, at any rate, a couple other cool little things uh, I didn't, you know, I looked up on, you know, while doing this video was that this uh, vessel is gas and diesel powered. Uh, I'm not sure if there's different kinds of engines on there. Uh, you know, that work in unison to, you know, propel it. I'm not sure, but it's gas and diesel. And there's cool tugboat, you know, uh, behind it, following it in. It's going to go up here. Where it's going to go is there's uh, the slough, this this uh, waterway here, uh, the ferry boats and the container ships coming up here. And this vessel is heading up toward Coast Guard Island, which is an Alameda, which is where this boat or vessel, excuse me, don't get mad, where this vessel uh, calls home port and it's done so since uh, 228 of 2010 it was built in 2006 by this is interesting Northrop Grumman I, I didn't know Northrop Grumman built you know uh, vessels I, I thought they were just like you know planes or you know defense systems and missiles and things like that I didn't know they did boats or vessels also that was kind of neat to learn uh, another really cool thing is this vessel is 418 feet long. You know, that's about half the size of some of those container ships behind it, but it just, this thing just looks really cool, man. Uh, hat tip to those men and women, you know, that serve on, on these type of vessels and stay gone for three months at a time, traveling to J Japan and Antarctic and all these other places, you know, uh, doing whatever it is they do. This vessel here also goes on patrols, uh, anti-drug type patrols, things like that. Uh, you can Wikipedia or Google some of this stuff also. But it's just a really cool thing to see, you know, I've seen these vessels parked at Coast Guard Island, or I don't know if you call it parked, but <laughs> it's the dang thing is tied up and parked over there at Coast Guard Island. And uh, it's it's neat to see, you know, this thing moving uh, through the water. Uh, San Francisco in the distance back there with the uh, San Francisco side of the Bay Bridge and Treasure Island in the middle is a really cool uh, you know, backdrop, and then the seagull photo bombs me. <laughs> but anyway, off to the left there, you guys might not know this, but there is an old part of the Navy base, Alameda Naval Air Station, with runways and abandoned hangars right there. You can, and I, I'm not going to say I've been there, <laughs> but there's guard towers and bunkers and hangars and all kinds of stuff over there. It's pretty neat, uh, from what I've heard. <laughs> Never been there. But anyway, Look at this, man. How cool is this? Sailing on in through the water. Everybody's looking at you. And you got your crew aboard there looking. Probably finally happy to be coming home after, you know, an extended stay out there and on the ocean. The never-ending ocean. My gosh. Uh, I am not a fan of being out there on the ocean. If you want to get swallowed up and never be heard from again, go to the ocean. <laughs> That's my biggest fear. But look at this. Really pretty shot here. As we look up toward Coast Guard Island, uh, which is, by the way, restricted airspace. Here in this spot, not restricted. There are no uh, authorizations needed for uh, flying the drone here. Uh, you can get up to 400 AGL. Anyway, guys, hope you had a great holiday and a happy new year. If you haven't done so, like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching.